welcome to today's centenaries classes today we are going to solve one question on composition of forces the question is given here forces of 7 kN 10 kN 10 kN and 3 kN respectively act at one of the angular point of regular pentagon toward the other four points taken in order find their resultant completely so here it is given a regular pentagon regular pentagon is a polygon is having five sides five equal sides it means that five equal angle also will be there internal angle so what does means by the in, uh, included angle of a pentagon regular pentagon and the external angle of a regular pentagon. External angle, otherwise excluded angle of any polygon, of any polygon is given as 360 degree divided by n here n is equal to number of sides here the number of side is equal to 5 so this will be becoming 360 degree divided by 5 that is equal to 72 degree so in the, the external angle is 72 degree it is given there the question is saying 7 kN, 10 kN, 10 kN and 3 kN are acting at a point and towards other corner. And the regular pentagon is given here. I have drawn the regular pentagon over here. And the first force 7 kN is acting like this. And another 10 kN from the same corner to the other corner, it is acting. And the third one is acting from the same corner toward the same corner to the other corner corner means that when wherever the uh, two sides are joining it is also known as angular point and here it is said angular points and also from here also three kilonewton is acting okay so this angle in between these forces will be equal I have given here as theta. Let us find out theta. That is important for us. Then only we can go ahead, go ahead to solve this problem. So internal angle, we have to find out, find out for that, isn't it? This is the internal angle. This is the internal angle or included angle. So internal angle is equal to 180 minus 72 because here in this way it will be 180 isn't it here in this way it will be 180 and this is 72 so 7 180 minus 72 will be the included angle so that we are getting as 108 degree so what will be theta Theta is equal to 108 divided by 3 because it is divided into equally into 3. So this will be 36 degree. This will be 36 degree. So each theta is representing 36 degree. So here we have shown that as a congruent force system. 7 kN thereafter. 10 kN at 10 kN uh, 10 kN is acting at an angle of 36 degree from 7 kN and it is acting at a another angle of 36 degree from 10 kN and from that 10 kN to 36 degree to the next 10 uh, next 3 kN okay it means that from x axis first it is 36 degree and the second 10 is acting at 72 degrees. 36 plus 36 is 76 degree. Sorry, 72 degree. This will be 
72 degree and from here to here this angle will be 108 degree 108 degree this will be 108 degree this will be 108 degree okay otherwise the uh, third uh, uh, fourth angle sorry the fourth angle otherwise the fourth angle 3 kilo newton is at a distance of 72 degree from the minus x axis minus x axis that means that 10 kilo newton 7 kilo newton and other 10 kilo newton is false on the first quadrant and the other 3 kilo newton is false on the other quadrant so the other quadrant if you are considering 72 degree then you can take it as minus otherwise you can also take it as 108 degree also so there is no need of considering it as minus and all minus sign is no need to consider in that sense so here i am going to solve this without taking any minus degree and all because that may bring any confusion while solving if we forgot to take minus sign instead of a, a plus sign then the answer will be uh, wrong so instead of taking 72 degree i am taking one uh, degrees 108 degree minus 72 degree i will take it as 108 degree for the case of uh, uh, cos uh, theta which will be required for the horizontal sum of the algebraic sum of the horizontal forces hope you got it now let us calculate sigma fx sigma fx means the algebraic sum of all the horizontal forces whichever the horizontal forces we are having 7 kilo newton is there and the angle is of 0 degree let us take it as angle 0 degree so that uh, uh, we need not to make any mistake then plus other one we are having at 36 degree the kilo newton is 10 kilo newton cos 36 degree and other one we are having 10 cos 36 plus 36 is 72 then we can take plus 3 kilo newton is given there cos 108 degree i am taking if you want take you can take this as minus 3 cos 72 degree also this way our otherwise this way also you are going to give the uh, same answer either you take cos 108 degree as positive otherwise minus cos 72 degree the answer we are getting here is 17.25 kilo newton and that is acting towards right as per the given forces now let us calculate sigma fi sigma fi means all the vertical sum of the all the vertical forces algebraic sum of all vertical forces okay vertically when we will convert it then we will get a sign theta so 7 sin 0 degree plus 10 sin 36 plus 10 sin 72 plus 3 sin 108 degree the answer we are getting here is 18.24 kilo newton 18.24 kilo newton acting up it is acting towards up then what will be the resultant let us calculate the resultant resultant r is equal to square root of this formula we should know sigma f x whole square plus sigma 
fy whole square and this is square root of 17.25 square plus 18.24 square. The answer we are getting here is 25.1, 25.10 kilo newton. We are getting. Now we have to find out the angle of the resultant. The angle of the resultant. We know tan theta is equal to sigma f y divided by sigma f x. That is theta will be is equal to tan inverse sigma f y divided by sigma f x which is equal to tan inverse sigma f y we are having 18.24 divided by 17.25 the answer we are getting here is 46.59 degree 46.59 degree we are getting here the angle so the position we can draw here position of the resultant we can draw here as this will be the position of the resultant resultant will be going like this way or will be moving like this way and resultant sorry here angle will be 46.59 degree Hope you could understand it. If you could understand it thoroughly, then like this video and also subscribe my channel so that you can have more videos on mechanics, drawing, mathematics, uh, in engineering, technical level, in school level also, or videos in on technical subjects, science subjects as well as technical subjects videos will be coming to you. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.